Good evening to you all. I'm Amber Lipinski, curator of the Neiman Foundation for Journalism, and it is my very great honor um, to welcome you to Lippmann House for this very special evening. Louis Lyons, the man for whom tonight's award is named, uh, first came to the Neiman Foundation in 1938 as a member of Harvard's very first class of Neiman Fellows. Impressively, he managed to accomplish um, that which uh, many fellows dream, but only one achieved. He stayed for 25 years. <laughs> During Lyons' fellowship, Harvard's founding Neiman curator, Archibald McLeish, was appointed the Librarian of Congress. The university named Lyons his successor, and here he remained as curator until 1964. Wow. Lyons, who had written for the Boston Globe and for the Christian Science Monitor, <coughs> ushered in many, many important changes at Neiman. Can you imagine a fellowship class without women? Without minority journalists, without international journalists, or one that was limited to newspaper journalists, neither could Lyons, who welcomed all of these advancements during his tenure, paving the way for the richness of experience and skill reflected in today's name and foundation. And while those developments may seem obvious from where we sit today, they were not always thus. Lyons admitted Neiman's first women fellows in 1945, 18 years before Harvard degrees were first awarded to Radcliffe women. Go Neiman. <laughs> when he completed his run as curator, an award, this, uh, an award was established in his name, and that is the reason we are gathered here tonight. The prize honors conscience and integrity in journalism and is a distinction that has been awarded to some of the lions of our profession including the broadcaster Edward R. Murrow, crusading South African editor Zulaki Zazulo, the great Vietnam reporters, war reporters Neil Sheehan, Malcolm Brown, and David Halberstam, and Gunawan Mohammed, an Indonesian journalist of incredible courage with whom I had the privilege of sharing my name and year. In recent years, the prize has gone to Mohammed Nobus, who was killed in Libya in 2011, <coughs> while reporting on the Gaddafi forces' attacks on civilians in Benghazi. Pamela Kala, the Texas Monthly editor who reported and edited tenacious investigations into wrongful convictions in this country. <coughs> Turkish journalist Hassan Samel, whose long career dedicated to a free press we cherish even more this year as journalists in that country confront struggling, strangling controls on their work. Chinese journalist Yang Zhisheng, whose brown bag breaking book Tombstone, The Great Chinese Famine, 1958 to 1962, <coughs> documented in forensic detail a great human catastrophe. And our very own Marcella Tarati. <laughs> <laughs> Neiman Fellow from this year's class, who I first met in this room at this ceremony, a courageous standard bearer for journalists who have risked their lives to document the devastating crush of violence in Mexico. And it only took me three years to get her back here as a Fellow. <laughs> Tonight, we have journalist Louis Duguid to this pantheon. His work as a newsroom leader and role model for young journalists is an achievement the Neiman class enthusiastically honors. We will hear more about Lewis later this evening. Meanwhile, I would like to make just one observation. Conscience and integrity are elusive qualities, easier to define in the breach. And we sometimes make the mistake of beholding them as the exclusive domain of those journalists who daily risk their lives. But there are places where the very act of asking questions can be regarded as treasonous or career-ending, to do one's work in those conditions also requires a conscience and the greatest of journalistic integrity, something we shine a spotlight on tonight. We gather at a moment when journalism is under attack, abroad and at home. The president's chief strategist has called us the opposition, a claim he doubled down on just today. We are not insulted and we do not take that bait. If anything, we are fortified for the work ahead and we double down on the values we celebrate tonight. Inspired by the extraordinary journalists who have been distinguished by this award, many of them laboring in far more difficult conditions than any of us will ever experience, 
reminders each and every one of the lasting power and importance of journalism. The great tradition of the Lions Award is that it is decided by the sitting class of Neiman Fellows. I offer special thanks to the 2017 Neiman Fellows, in particular to Lolly and Jossum, who co-chaired the process. Uh, that the class brought to the task was inspirational. And so while we are gathered to honor Mr. Duguid, I offer up a warm and grateful toast to my fabulous new fellows, a group of journalists I'm extraordinarily privileged to be among. <laughs> We will hear um, a little later uh, from uh, Janae and Catherine from our current Neiman class, um, who will uh, introduce tonight's program. Um, in the meantime, please enjoy your dinner, and thank you all so much again for being here tonight. Thank you.